Hey everybody, it's Marissa. Thanks for coming back to see me. This is week 129. Here to give you an update of what I've been up to. Um, still hanging in there in this weight loss journey. I'm a little bit under the weather today, but I came from work a little bit early and I decided I had some time. Wanted to get this video in because this is part of what keeps me accountable to myself. And um, thanks for coming back to see me. Um, so right now I'm just moving right along, recommitting every day. Every day is a challenge. Uh, next week I am two and a half years post-op and I wish I could tell you that things get easier. For me, they haven't gotten easier. Um, I struggle, I'll be very honest with you, I struggle all the time, but I am very you know, glad to say that I have a lot of control and I have a lot of accountability and I think that's what is helping me at the moment. Um, Cause all I can do is really take this one day at a time. Um, I've been doing this for two and a half years already and I guess a lot of it is just like settling into the new, I'm still kind of adjusting to the new body, to the new way of doing things, to my new life and the way my life has changed so dramatically in that time, I think with all of that thrown into it, it's a lot of adjustment. Um, when I started my journey, you know, I was a very, very single woman, um, <laughs> no prospects, kind of just, you know, was not really looking for anything for anyone in my life and you know here I am in the midst of planning my wedding you know I found the man who I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with you know that was just not something that was in the cards for me when I started so that on top of all this weight loss and everything it's a lot um, but I do the best I can I just take it day by day like I said so um, I found that my fitness pal has really really um, come at a time in my life when I need it the most because I've always food journaled but to do the online food journaling I love it um I just feel like it's a place to go to be accountable and I have to I'm fooling myself if I'm not true to those to to what I post and to the numbers you know because that's in the end you know what's going to really help me maintain this um I've developed a lot of healthy habits along this journey, but of course there's a part of me that still loves those treats, and I have just had to find a way to balance that out. Um, I don't want to deprive myself, and I also don't want to be like feeling shameful or guilty if I kind of fall off the track, because I don't want to associate eating and food with feeling badly, you know? Um, I just think there has to be a balance there. I'm keeping active. Zumba has not been happening too much lately. I have not been feeling well. Um, been feeling extremely tired. I have this sinus infection thing. My I completely am almost deaf in this ear, I feel like. Um, it's starting to drain out a little bit, but I've been feeling pretty run down. Um, but without doing Zumba, I've had to be a lot more diligent with the numbers and the calories and everything. So it's been hard. I've been struggling the last couple weeks. Um, but uh, I just want to reach out to everybody who is new, who is, you know, pre-op or who is a newbie, right, um, new into weight loss surgery or who is starting a weight loss journey with or without surgery. Um, every weight loss journey, you know, is challenging and I just want to remind you that when it gets frustrating and you have those days where you feel like it's so overwhelming, just hang in there. It might seem like you have a long road, and I mean, for a lot of you, you do. I had a very long road. I mean, I started at 374 pounds. Here's another old picture of me. And, you know, to be that person, I, I felt miserable. I felt overwhelmed. I felt like there's no way I can get out of this, you know, because I've just... I mean, my habits were so bad and I had just kind of succumbed to this sedentary lifestyle and, you know, my health was suffering as a result of it. I just, I felt very, very um, hopeless at times, um, but when you get your mind in the right place, just keep working at it. Um, that's all I can say, I mean, because I definitely feel that, you know, I have to fight with that mental stuff all the time, you know, and um, it's a battle. I, I will never, ever come on here and tell you it's easy and just do what they tell you and, you know, just listen, you know, what your dietitian, I mean, duh, don't we all want to follow the rules? Don't we all have the, int the intention of doing everything 100%? But unfortunately, that isn't always reality and maybe it comes easier to some 
than it does to others. For me personally, it does, I know I have all the tools, but a lot of times I can't, I don't use them all or I fall off the track, but I'm learning every day that, you know, I just have to take it one step at a time because I cannot get you know, browbeaten and feel terrible if I have a day that's a little bit off, you know, because that's life. I mean, it's one day out of your whole life. So I just wish you all the best. Hang in there. Um, I'm just doing a lot more reflecting. I know I come on here a lot of times and I feel like I'm just being, I'm always nostalgic and it's like, oh, my journey, blah, blah, blah. But I mean, it has been quite a long road for me. Um, at this point, you know, I have to reflect on my day-to-day -day life. I have to reflect on how far I've come because this is my life. You know, this is what it is. So I thank you for um, always being there and checking in on me and your support because, goodness, I mean, it is, it is hard and it sucks sometimes. <laughs> and sometimes you feel like you just want to say, forget it. Um, I, I just can't do this anymore. I can't, and then it's, and then, you know, you have your reality check, you have your moment of clarity, you know, but I mean, I am no stranger to the low moments where I just say, eh, I'd rather not, you know, do this or that, but I also don't want to go back to the old person that I was because that was just, that wasn't a life, you know, I was pretty much existing, I wasn't really living, so... Oh, it's just an everyday thing. I will always be in recovery of some sort in this thing because, you know, I still love to eat. I still love treats. I still love things, but I really feel like I have to be, um, I have to try to be in control because that's the only way I can, you know, remain successful. I have a hard time with that word because, you know, success, <laughs> that could be like a relative term because, you know, it could, I don't know, how do you define that? Um, I don't know, ask me in a couple more years. <laughs> but anyway, um, thanks for checking me out. I will uh, talk to you all very soon. Hello to my new subscribers. Hi to all my faithful viewers. Um, you guys are awesome. I love this community. Uh, I really, I give a big thank you to this community and for, um, you know, just the opportunity to vlog on here has really helped my accountability and I really feel like it's helped me sustain the hard road of this journey because definitely I've had my rocky moments so I thank you and I'm just you know grateful but I will check in with you all later and that's it